Hi, everyone. Welcome to this Microsoft Build session on accelerating 3D simulation workflows with NVIDIA Omniverse and DGX Cloud on Azure. I'm Gautam Schollinger, a product manager at NVIDIA focused on simulation for autonomous vehicles. And I'm excited to share how NVIDIA's cloud services can unlock digital transformation. Industrial enterprises are racing to reinvent and disrupt themselves into becoming software-defined technology companies. But digital transformation is not new. What's new is the scale of the problem. As the world becomes more digital, every factory, robot, building, and process has become a rich source of data, generating billions of data points. And AI feeds on this data. From computer vision models detecting defects in a manufacturing process to a large language model that can offer context-specific technical support, AI is everywhere. And enterprises need to bring together globally spread, highly skilled teams, their software, models, and data to enable seamless collaboration. Harnessing this wealth of data, AI, and collaboration is vital to unlocking digital transformation and becoming future ready. As we talked about AI, let's look at some use cases. Imagine you're going to deploy a robot for pick and place tasks or want to train a computer vision system, or you're building a predictive maintenance algorithm for your factory. All of these tasks will require training an AI model on annotated data sets, as well as testing these AI agents in a sandbox environment in a safe and reliable manner. Virtual worlds and 3D digital twins are the data factories for AI. So what is a digital twin? A digital twin is essentially a digital replica of a physical product, factory, or device. These digital twins can be used to generate synthetic data sets with ground truth labels for training AI models. In addition, by deploying these AI-based products and workflows in a closed loop 3D simulation environment, developers can quickly visualize and validate model performance before deployment in the real world, improving efficiency and time to deployment. With generative AI and AI-based content creation, we're seeing the emergence of a new virtuous cycle where content created by AI can actually be used for digital twins and both cycles start benefiting each other. NVIDIA is at the heart of solving these problems with NVIDIA Omniverse and NVIDIA AI. Let me tell you more about NVIDIA's cloud services. Omniverse Cloud and DGX Cloud will help developers accelerate their 3D simulation and AI workflows. Omniverse Cloud is focused on 3D workflows and digitalization, helping you generate rich data sets and 3D content, as well as visualize and validate these concepts in the digital twin environment. DGX Cloud is focused on AI compute and services, including training and testing at scale. By linking these two cloud services on a single platform, developers can quickly learn from their testing and validation and close the loop by generating new content and data required to improve AI model performance. NVIDIA's cloud services will be available on Azure Cloud in the second half of this year. And I'm really excited to tell you about what's possible. Omniverse Cloud is built on foundational apps for 3D visualization and scene assembly, simulation, synthetic data generation, and digital twins. It is purpose-built to manage 3D workflows for industrial metaverse applications and is powered by L4D GPU designed for graphics-intensive workloads. DGX Cloud, on the other hand, is focused on accelerated AI and data science tools, optimized frameworks, containers, and pre-trained models that you can choose and customize as part of NVIDIA AI Enterprise software. Base Command, which comes as part of DGX Cloud, is a single pane experience for developers to manage AI de deployment workflows across the enterprise and is powered by NVIDIA and H100 GPUs. Let's focus our attention a little bit more on Omniverse. Omniverse is a cloud-native platform built to bridge the physical and digital worlds across many use cases, including AI avatars, 3D design and visualization, simulation, and data generation for autonomous vehicles and robotics. Omniverse is a powerful simulator allowing you to model complex physical phenomena in digital twins across science and industry. There are several foundational applications and APIs built on Omniverse that allow developers to create their own custom workflows that run on NVIDIA-enabled RTX systems. In today's session, we'll focus our attention on autonomous vehicles and how NVIDIA's cloud services can help you. Autonomous vehicles have the potential to transform our lives and how we spend our time. There are various levels of autonomy from advanced driver assistance systems to fully autonomous robo-taxis, and you might be seeing a lot of these on the road. 
These systems rely on redundant and diverse sensors, including cameras, radars, lidars, and ultrasonics that collect information about the surrounding environment. Centralized in-vehicle compute uses computer vision and deep learning algorithms to perceive the surroundings, map out the world, and help plan and control the motion of the vehicle to deliver a safe, comfortable, and convenient transportation experience. Autonomous vehicles also represent one of the most complex AI and data challenges of our lifetime. This pipeline starts with data collection, and a lot of it. Our autonomous vehicle test fleet generates petabytes of data each day, which has to be transported, encoded, and stored before any further processing can be done. Then this data must be curated, which means finding subsets which are useful for training, such as data covering new situations or underrepresented scenarios which are hard to find. The data then must be labeled with bounding boxes, object classes, and other information with auto labeling as well as human labelers. This information is required to generate the right labels to help neural networks improve performance and avoid false positives. Once the data has been curated and labeled, it is used for model training and optimization in the data center at scale. Each model is then tested in a CI-CD pipeline or continuous integration and development pipeline where the model is run against thousands of hours of replay data to avoid regressions. Feedback from this process uncovers cases for which more data needs to be collected, completing this loop and restarting this iterative process. This process is challenging for a number of reasons. First off, the cost and time of collecting that next useful frame to boost perception performance keeps increasing. It gets harder and harder to find a diversity of regions, weather, lighting, and traffic conditions in the real world. Another challenge is manually labeling data with accuracy. For example, a fisheye camera distorts all the objects on the sides. Now imagine adding fog, rain, lens dirt, and poor lighting. Accurate labels are essential to help the DNNs train and detect and perceive all these objects and reduce false positives. There are even data types that real sensors cannot capture, including velocity, optical flow, and pixel-wise depth. All of these are necessary to train AI models at scale for AV perception. And finally, testing these networks is further complicated by the fact that you can never get 100% coverage of all the use cases you want. On top of incomplete coverage, the real world only happens once. You can replay past events and test algorithms, but modifying and varying these data sets requires additional work. Synthetic data sets can generate ground truth labels that are beyond the sensor's native capability, including depth and velocity, as well as hard to label situations, including fog, occlusions, and lens noise. Sometimes these events are unpredictable, including cut-ins, where in this case, a truck cu cuts off the ego vehicle, forcing the ego vehicle to change lanes. Another important use case for simulation is efficiency. You can bring up sensors, prototype new configurations, and validate perception in, in a virtual environment months before the availability of real sensors. You can also tweak the sensor configuration, change the resolution of the cameras, change the field of view, and quickly understand what the range of possibilities are. You can emulate real-world proving ground tests like NCAP, as well as difficult real-world scenarios in a safe proving ground, which is completely virtual. And finally, with context-aware placement and variation in lighting and weather, you can increase coverage and address a lot of corner cases. Simulation and synthetic data sets have the ability to amplify the amount of diversity in your data. And that's why we built DriveSim. DriveSim is NVIDIA's state-of-the-art AV simulator built on top of Omniverse. DriveSim leverages Omniverse's RTX API for physically accurate sensor simulation for cameras, LIDARs, radars, and ultrasonics. Here, we're showing you a one-to-one -one correspondence between a real drive for multiple sensors, highlighting the quality of our sensor simulation. DriveSim also comes with vehicle dynamics, traffic models, behavior, and action control. You can tune and control the action and behavior of every single object in the scene as shown here. Another important focus for autonomous vehicles is scenario generation. DriveSim has GUI-based tools as well as Python-based programmatic control to define and design these scenarios for a number of use cases. The last thing I want to highlight is that Omniverse and DriveSim are very open, modular, and extensible. There's a large ecosystem of partners who contribute 3D content, sensor models, 
traffic and vehicle models, as well as bring in other tools to integrate with DriveSim to make DriveSim a landing page and a platform that others can build on. One capability that I want to highlight is synthetic data generation. And that's where Omniverse Replicator comes in. Omniverse Replicator is a core extension for physically accurate synthetic data generation. This data can not only be used for training AI models for AV perception, but also for robotics, detecting defects, retail, manufacturing, and much more. Replicator allows you to generate rich GT labels, including 2D and 3D bounding boxes, semantic and instance masks, object IDs, velocity, depth, surface normals, and much more. You can also customize your own GT and generate the ground truth that you need for your specific use case. Another important function of Replicator is domain randomization. DriveSim leverages the domain randomization capabilities of Omniverse Replicator to vary the appearance, placement, weather, and lighting of all the 3D assets in the scene to produce diverse data sets for AV perception. These data sets include, include camera data, as well as active sensors like radar, LiDAR, and ultrasonics that enable autonomy. So how does this all connect together? Omniverse Cloud is a platform as a service, helping you to build, manage your own Omniverse apps and workflows and APIs, starting with the many foundational apps running on OVX servers. You can use the launcher on the web to start reference applications for simulation, synthetic data generation, access your content on Nucleus, or build, and build custom applications and deploy them. In this case, we'll be streaming an instance of an OVX server and start prototyping in DriveSyn. Here, we're looking at DriveSyn Scenario Editor, where we'll be building our scenarios and configuring the environment. On the left is a simple configuration file that identifies what 3D assets will be placed in the scene and how and when certain events will occur. Our use case for today is pedestrian and car detection in a parking lot. We're going to be training a semantic segmentation model which mirrors the real world kitty data set. Now let's say I want to randomly place a number of parked vehicles in the scene or on my vehicle which is going to collect the data. I can programmatically define the diameter and offset at which these vehicles will be placed and how far they will be from my vehicle. After defining these parameters, I can actually go run a programmatic event which calls, this, calls the APIs under the hood to random, randomly place these assets in the scene. You can see that every time I click on run, a different set of vehicles is being placed in the parking slots next to the vehicle. You can imagine that this process can be extended to multiple asset types, including pedestrians, props, debris, weather, lighting, and all other aspects of the simulation. Once you have configured your 3D scene, the variations you'd like to see, you can launch data generation in batch mode. In this case, we see the editor as the frames are being rendered. In addition to the RGB camera images, Replicator also produces the required ground truth labels as described previously that are essential for training DNN algorithms. Once these frames are generated, they can be saved in cloud storage for training, inspection, and inference tasks. Thus far, we've covered the generate part of the workflow. Let's move on to visualization. Once you've rendered your data sets, you can now inspect your data. You will notice that each image has been annotated with the appropriate semantic labels and masks, identifying the different object classes of interest. Additional ground truth types like depth have also been produced. You can use tools like Replicator Insight to essentially scrub through your data and inspect the bounding boxes and object IDs that matter for this use case. Thus far, we have generated and visualized our data. Now we'll be switching our attention to training. In this case, I'll be using an example semantic segmentation model from Weights and Biases, an MLOps partner of NVIDIA, to detect pedestrians and car cars in a parking lot with simulated kitty datasets. Base Command is an AI training as a service platform, allowing you to choose a compute cluster, an instance with the right GPUs for your specific use case. You can set up a workspace with your datasets, choose a container, and then add custom code to modify this container. In this case, I've decided to launch a Jupyter notebook assigned to a specific port. As soon as the job is launched, in some time, I'm able to actually see that a port has been launched and I can access my Jupyter Notebook. From here, I navigate to a terminal and actually start installing any other specific requirements to run this code. After setting up the requirements, I'm able to start training. 
And you'll notice that this actually starts a weights and biases job and a run. And you can actually see that the training has started below. To get a better sense of the training and validation loss and progress over multiple epochs, we can switch to the weights and biases UI, where we can see the loss function decreasing as the network is trained. To give you a summary thus far, we've gone from no data to annotated data sets and an AI model being trained all in one workflow. Once training has been completed, you can run the model on example data to see how your model performs. Here, we're noticing that the model is predicting semantic labels for the different object classes in the scene. You can see that the cars have been labeled in magenta and the pedestrians have been labeled in cyan. And we notice that the pixels are being correctly assigned to the objects of interest. The ability to integrate MLOps workflows as well as data analysis pipelines means that developers can quickly learn how to tune their data sets identify regressions, and iterate this process to improve network performance. We can close the loop from generation to visualization to training and testing and restart the generation process to get the right data. This brings us to a complete workflow highlighting how you can leverage Omniverse Cloud to generate and visualize data sets and content, and then use the AI compute capabilities of DGX Cloud to train and validate your AI algorithms before deployment. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the incredible body of work in generative AI that is going to transform this space. In this case, we're using state-of-the-art stable diffusion models to overlay decals on an existing stop sign and add diversity to the simulated assets. Content creators and artists can go from days or hours of work to minutes and generate new examples and fine tune these for specific use cases. This space is going to grow a lot and in many dimensions. So please stay tuned and keep an eye out. As we draw this session to a close, I want to encourage you to visit NVIDIA's virtual showcase, where we have additional demos and content. Please check out the other exciting sessions by NVIDIA at MS Bill, and visit our website to learn more about NVIDIA's cloud services. I want to acknowledge and give a big thanks to my fellow NVIDIAs for the opportunity to showcase all this great work to you. Thank you.